Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today I'm going to be talking about 5 events from previous Animal Crossing games that I want to see return in New Horizons. Now I'm not going to go over the sort of typical events that we know are going to return like Christmas and Halloween. We all know they're coming back in the games. So I'm going to focus on some more obscure and sort of forgotten events that hopefully will make their comeback in New Horizons. So if you're excited for this one be sure to leave a like and let's get right into it. Number 5, the sports fair. Now this is one of the examples of why Animal Crossing GameCube is one of my favourite games. It is so interactive and it has so many cool little events, this is just an example of one of them. Throughout the day you'd get many sort of different little mini events that the villagers would be seen participating in. Sadly you couldn't participate much yourself, but the villagers would and they all look so cute and so interactive and really lifelike and that's something that I feel is missing from newer Animal Crossing games. In this game they felt really alive and of course this is one of the events where you could see them actually firing a gun. So yes, in this game you can see a gun in Animal Crossing. That's a real thing and it's very cool. <laughs> and number four, the Acorn Festival from Wild World. It was only in this game, I believe, sort of like the previous event. Um, this is an interesting one. A new character named Cornimer appears, who's totally not Tortimer. That's not him, that's a different character. Know your lore. Um, and you would basically shake the trees to get acorns and give them to him because he loves them, and he would give you cool prizes, you know. So it's just a fun, simple little event, but it was nice to see a different sort of item that could fall from the trees, like the acorns here. And of course, Cornima is an iconic and special character, and I would love to see him come back. He did actually come back in Animal Crossing Welcome Amiibo. He came back in the uh, puzzle swap game, but it'd be nice to see him come back for his own event. Number three, the Harvest Festival. Now I know I said I wouldn't talk about any of the main events that we know are coming back, and I'm sure this one will come back. But you guys might not remember that this event had a pretty dark past. Now it might look all happy and, you know, sparkly with all the great furniture, but in this game they actually desperately wanted to eat the character Franklin. That's basically what it was all about. You had to help Franklin hide and not get eaten basically. And this is such a dark concept for Animal Crossing, but not really, because when you think about it we have quite a few sort of darker themes in Animal Crossing like a cow named Patty and a horse named Elmer, after of course Elmer's glue, and um, yeah, I don't know, I just love stuff like this, it's so, it's kind of twisted in a way, I know, but it's just, it's, it's cool, and I do think the Animal Crossing developers have a sort of darker sense of humour about them, and it, it was fun to help Franklin not be eaten alive like the turkey he is. Number two, the morning aerobics from the GameCube game, this is adorable, this has always been really adorable. There's not really much to say about this one, I just think it's so cute how you have to wake up every morning and sort of do this little event, and if you did it enough times you'd get your own radio and you could do it at home, that was a really cool item. But even just doing it with your animals and watching Tour Timer and Copper do the workouts themselves, I mean, it, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? I mean, it's so adorable, and I would love to see this one return. And finally, we have Sail Day. Sail Day is a bit of a forgotten one, um, not many people remember this event, and I, even though I put it at number one, it isn't my top choice necessarily, but it's still something I really want to see return. Sale day basically was when Tom Nook would fill his shop with these grab bags, and in the grab bags you could get so many cool random items like furniture, clothing, pinwheels, I believe balloons too, might be wrong on that, but yes, you could get so many cool little items in the grab bags. And it was just so fun seeing all these like random items that you could get. It was really exciting actually. Another cool little detail is every year, depending on what year your clock was set to, that would be the price. So you can see here in this screenshot by JVG's Jeff, the year he took this screenshot was 2013, so it cost 2013 bells. Um, so every year it's going to get a bit more expensive. And of course here it's 2014 bells. And it's just a cool little detail. The main cool part here is the fact that you get the grab bags. They were really nice sort of like surprises, you know, you, you don't get too many surprises like that in Animal Crossing. You kind of see what you're getting right away. So I'd love to see this return. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a comment down below with what events you guys want to see return from previous games. I know there's not too many that haven't made it back, but Wild World had quite a few odd ones. And I know the GameCube had so many really cool events that I'd love to see come back. 
And I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much. And I will catch you guys in another video.